Hello artists, how are you today? Stephanie Ani coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California. Ozzy and I welcome you to the studio and we are very happy you are here with us again today. Well, we have another collage that we're going to put together. Um, okay, so I have a couple different versions of this image and it's interesting, it was an illustration that I found um, but the original painting was done by Gustav Klimt, and then this image that I had found on the internet had taken Gustav's painting and had put a sword in it and changed the face. So it's, uh, it's an interesting image. And again, since this will be my book, I'm not worried about copyright issues, um, However, Gustav has been gone for a very long time, and once a uh, painting is, let's see, I think it's 90 years after the artist dies, or whether the painting is 90 years old, it loses its copyright. Um, however, again, this is not something that I'm planning on selling, and it is for my personal use so I'm not worried about copyright with this so basically what I'm doing is I am looking through my images seeing which ones I like the best and decided again on this illustration that was taken off of a clumped photo I was playing with those strips of red um, that is actually just something I have in my paper stash. It's some embossed um, brown paper, I think is what it is. So just embossed uh, some brown paper and then put some beautiful shimmer spray over the top of it and it makes this gorgeous paper. Anyway, um, I did end up just putting it on the one side there. I'm looking for balance. So it's offsetting the flowers in the back. The background is a basic napkin background and I had used some shimmer spray with some um, Mod Podge over the top of it to get that blue. Here I'm choosing the words. These are all Tim Holtz words. Um, what does it say? Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. And then up top I put trust your instinct. And to me that's really a fitting um, verse. So, you know, again, I'm doing this for me. I'm, um, you know, trying to put things in here that have really good meaning. So, now that I have all of that together, I do put another coat of Mod Podge over the top of everything. It's to set it and to protect it. It's a light layer, basically a dry brush technique. We're just putting a light layer of Mod Podge over the top to seal everything in. And um, here I'm just looking to see if there's any other words that I want to put in there. So next thing, it just felt like it needed another element. And this was actually a calendar that Shanine um, gave to me. And this is a dragonfly out of that calendar. And once I got it all cut out, I was like, oh, this is gorgeous. So it has a little bit heavier texture. That's why I'm using the tacky glue. Um, the heavier your paper, the heavier your glue needs to be. So I did bring in the tacky glue with this and the dragonfly fit perfectly. I love dragonflies. They're one of my favorite little insects. I don't like insects very much. I love dragonflies because I just think they're super cool. Anyways, um, so I'm getting that well set down, just taking a, probably just a piece of um, paper towel over that and then I'm trimming up the edges, which I probably could have left that wing hanging over, but um, it just looks super clean that way, and I like how it ended up. Now I'm going to go back through with my 
Stabilo and my real brush pen. So here, the real brush pen wasn't giving me a dark enough line. And I think that's why I really do like to combine the Stabilo with the real brush pen because the Stabilo will give you a really nice deep dark line and um, the real brush pen over the top will give you a really fine tuned line. So I'm not smearing anything. I'm not really smudging it. I'm just giving it a really beautiful frame. Um, and also you do have the ability to erase with this. So um, just a little bit of water and you know take it up quickly. The Mod Podge um, allows that to happen. Yeah, you know, that's why I put that protective layer down. Is that anything that I do on top of it? If I mess something up, I'll most likely be able to fix it. So here I'm just going through and running my real brush pen along um, all of those lines. And if you need any of these art supplies, remember, um, you know, if you could use the links, I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, they're all down in the comments. Uh, so I've used uh, shimmer sprays and real brush pens and Stabilo. And that's about it. Super um, beautiful composition. Um, you know, but you just have to kind of put your pieces together and see what looks right. Um, sometimes less is more. And then finding just that perfect element to put over the top of it. You don't need to put the kitchen sink in there. Um, you know, try to find the balance. And um, I really love how this one turned out. Okay, guys. Well, it's about time for me to go here. And thank you so much for watching another video. And, of course, if you could comment, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff, I'd greatly appreciate it. Stay safe and stay healthy. Love to all. Bye-bye.